I've hit over 1,000 subscribers now, which is amazing. I'm literally like morning has broken, like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken, like the first word. It's Mother's Day today, which is amazing as well. Like my kids got me some flowers and cards, and then they spilled a cup of tea over my mattress. So I had to clean that up. It has been a bit of a shambles, but I'm not letting that dampen my vlog. So. First things first, I just wanted to let you know, um, I've, if you haven't seen on my Facebook and Twitter, I have now confirmed um, the start date for Obsessive Compulsive Cleaners. I will be back again with some of the other lovely lot on the 15th of March 2016 on Channel 4, so please make sure you tune in and watch that. If you are watching this in the future and it's like back to the future and you think you're Marty McFly, then... It won't be on anymore. This is 2016, so if you're watching it in 2017, it chances are it probably won't be a start date of the 15th of March. So can I just confirm that? Thanks. So I also just wanted to give you a tip by one of my subscribers, Teresa Taylor. Thanks, babes. Her tip was, rather than using um, like a fabric spray, so like Febreze or things like that that just take the odours out of your clothes and like your home furnishings, what you can do is fill up a spray bottle halfway with fabric conditioner and the rest of the way with water and that also will work a treat as well. So thank you Teresa Taylor for your tip. Keep them coming in as well because I will keep mentioning them on my vlogs as you send them in to me. I'm going to be doing a giveaway as well today. So the giveaway is going to be a personalised by yours truly box of cleaning goodies. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a um, winner when I hit 2,000 subscribers. So please keep sharing my videos, please keep liking and please, please keep subscribing to my channel because one of you lucky lot are going to win an abundance of cleaning treats. Okay, for the vlog today, what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean your pillow. So it's not the pillow case, it's the actual pillow, so what goes inside the pillow case. Of an evening, everyone, no one in their right mind, unless you're like eye robot or like mannequin or someone like that, you're always going to sweat in your sleep. There's no getting away from it, it's just nature, it's what happens, I can't change that. So, you will sweat in your sleep, and then what will happen over time is, your pillows are going to become stained and yellow from the sweat. No one likes to see that, do they? So, I'm going to show you how you can get them super bright and white again, and I'm going to go down to the kitchen now, to the washing machine, and you're home for a treat. Right, so, we're going to be doing pillows today. Like I said earlier, um, the pillows that go like yellow, they go that way because of sweat, which isn't a pleasant thought. So, this isn't Blue Peter, this is Hayley's vlog, official vlog. Um, and here's one I made earlier. This is the one that I've already cleaned. So, this is the white one. That is fucked. <laughs> okay, so, um, the first pillow that I've done... Um, Something's happened. That's not right, is it? Like, it's had the life sucked out of it. I don't know whether it was the bleach or the fact that I used like 130 degree water. I think it was probably a bit of both. But that is why I should have listened to my own rule, shouldn't I? Should have checked the label. So, on these pillows, it says, like, this one says, um, you can only wash it at 40. Probably shouldn't have put that in a 90 degree wash, should I? Because it says 40. And also, it does say that if you use a cover, it will protect them from soiling. Well, that's a heavily soiled pillow there, my friend. Let me tell you now. So, I feel like the rules don't apply. But, I'm going to put it out there. Like, this pillow, it's in better days. Like, it literally is, like, I mean, it's like a sanitary towel now, let's face it. 
that's going to need to go in the bin. But this one, it's yellow, but I've got high hopes for this one because I've just read on the label here. Um, <laughs> yeah, this one can only be washed at a 40 degree as well, so. <laughs> um, so this is my advice for the vlog. To get your pillows really white again, what you need to do is throw them in the fucking bin. <laughs> and get, get a sanitary towel. <laughs> or a nappy. Because <laughs> that is going to be amazing to sleep on. Why would you not want to rest your weary head on this pillow? I mean, look. It's just got everything anyone could ever want. This is a pillow. It's white, it's fine, and it's also fresh out of packet. <laughs> so, my tip today is, if you want to get your pillows white and you don't want them looking like this, you can either put them on a 90 degree wash with bleach and washing detergent, and you can end up with this. Or you can throw it in the bin and get this. You can buy these in most stores. I won't say names because then I'll get in trouble for like brand advertising. But you can get them in most home stores. Just get a new set of pillows. Thanks for watching my vlog. Um, I hope you've found this helpful. You probably haven't because you're just going to be like, well, she's just advised us to go out and buy a new pillow. But it is what it is. I'm really sorry. Sometimes things go wrong and you would rather me be honest and tell you, don't put your pillows in the washing machine than to lie to you like some other people would and tell you to wash them and they'll be fine. They won't be fine, it's a vicious lie. You need to go and buy a new set of pillows if they get stained. And they don't get stained that often, so just replace them maybe every six months to a year and you'll be fine, you're laughing, like I was in that video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my page. And remember at 2,000 subscribers, I will be doing my giveaway. So one of you lovely lot will be being picked. Lots of love.